Up with Crim begins now. Governor Jay Inslee's presidential bid is over. Now the state Republican Party wants him to reimburse taxpayers $4 million for the cost of his campaign. But did the governor's push for president really cost him that much money? We verify. And take a look outside on our Tuesday morning. It is a pretty quiet start to the day. We've got high pressure continuing to build around us. And what that means for us is more warm temperatures and sunny skies. A local chiropractor is working on babies as young as one day old. This morning we talked to families who say their kids have stayed healthy because of it. Thanks so much for starting your morning with us here on Up With Creme. I'm Jen York. And I'm Evan Arani. Thanks for being with us. We are starting off the morning with pretty calm weather, right? That's right. A beautiful August day on tap, and we deserve it, even though this is starting to see summer oh, wind down. I know. Those average temperatures slowly declining. That's right. And kids go back to school later this week. That's right. I was talking to one of our photographers. He was saying in Coeur d'Alene, his daughter goes back to school next week. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, everyone's at least here. kind of in that back to school rush, right? That's right. So kick off the morning rush here with a look outside. All right. Sounds good. Let's take a look right now where we've got temperatures slowly warming up. Still a little bit of time before that sun actually comes up. You can see kind of the remnants of the sunrise, but it's not actually going to rise until closer to 6 o'clock. Right now it's only 533. Morning temperatures a bit chilly. 54 in Spokane, 49 in Coeur d'Alene. A lot of 40s on the screen and what we heard from pretty much everyone in the building this morning was, wasn't it cold walking inside today? And it was. I mean, in a lot of cases there are these pockets of mid and lower 40 degree temperatures. Look at Sandpoint right now at 41 degrees. 54 in Spokane, 56 in Ritzville, and 59 in Wenatchee. Here's the rest of your day. We'll warm up all the way to about 84, maybe 85 degrees by about 5 p.m. Sunny skies lasting all the way through the day. No strong chances of any cloud cover, or at least significant cloud cover, but we are going to be seeing the possibility of maybe a few showers and thunderstorms going into your Thursday night. So now at 534 on the dot, I will send things back to you, Jen. All right, Evan, thank you. In Spokane County, police arrested a woman after stealing a car during a test drive. According to court documents, a salesperson was in the passenger seat calling 911, asking her to pull over. Officers say the 29-year-old woman told the employee she was taking the car to Walla Walla and she hoped he was ready to die. Officers chased her until she was blocked at 14th Avenue and Latawa Street. Well, tomorrow is the last day Democratic presidential candidates can qualify for the next round of debates. As of right now, 10 candidates have met the standards, 11 more have not, and time again is running out. To qualify, they must have 130,000 unique donors in 20 different states, and they must also have 2% support in at least four qualifying polls. The next debate is happening September 13th. If one more Democrat qualifies, the debate will be split into two nights. Happening today, actress Lori Lachlan and her fashion designer husband are due back in a Boston courtroom in connection to a college admissions scandal. The couple rejected a deal and pleaded not guilty to charges. They paid a half million dollars to get their daughters into the University of Southern California. Dozens of parents have also been charged in that scandal. An Oklahoma judge issued the first ruling in a state trial against a pharmaceutical company in an opioid lawsuit. Johnson & Johnson plans to appeal a $572 million judgment, finding it caused a public nuisance by aggressively marketing opioids and downplaying their addiction risks. Numerous similar lawsuits are expected nationwide. Well, that is your morning rush. Stories making headlines in the inland northwest and around the nation. You can let us know what's happening in your neighborhood as well by using the hashtag UpWithCrem. 536 now. Governor Jay Inslee's run for president is over and his re-election campaign for governor of Washington has begun. But his political opponents say security as a presidential candidate was expensive to taxpayers and they want Governor Inslee to reimburse the state. So how much did it cost? Krem 2's Casey Decker verifies. In a press conference last week, Washington's Republican Party chair asked Governor Jay Inslee to reimburse the state for the cost of his presidential campaign. Use your campaign funds 
to reimburse the taxpayers of the state of Washington so we're not forced to subsidize his presidential ambition. At that event, they asked Inslee to put $2 million back into the state's treasury. On a website used to gather online signatures from supporters, the party says Inslee's run is costing $4 million. So what's the actual figure? Well, the cost in question here is the cost of travel and protection from the Washington State Patrol. According to the WSP, those costs through the end of July were roughly 663000 so where did the million dollar numbers come from? When the legislature passed the budget, WSP requested $4 million, so they could be prepared if Inslee went all the way a full two years. He didn't, but Republicans are saying because he went most of one year, he should reimburse half of that budget, or two million. There's a little bit of ambiguity, uh, but there is no question that we have spent at least 662,000 in taxpayer resources, not even including the month of August, and not including the fact that we've hired eight additional uh, staff members to this unit. So that's why we asked him to reimburse $2 million, which is one half of the additional increase uh, that would cover this year. But the party also says it's really about the principle of it, and they'd be happy if Inslee returned the smaller figure. So will he? Uh, we're going to follow Washington law, and Washington law is that the uh, Washington State Patrol provide security for the governor. We're going to follow that law to the T. In other words, it doesn't look like he intends to reimburse. And our response to that is, look, just because it's legal doesn't make it right. Uh, the right thing to do would be to reimburse the taxpayers. The Republicans also point out some other governors who have run for president, like Montana Democrat Steve Bullock, have pledged to reimburse their states for the costs of their campaign. <laughs> Well, thank you, Casey, for that. It's time for your speed feed. Thanks for waking up with me this morning. Stories you'll probably see on your social media. So fresh off of last night was the VMA's performance. Taylor Swift has something else to brag about. Her new album, Lover, is now 2019's best-selling album. Lover was released last Friday and is Swift's seventh album. It blew past Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper's A Star Is Born soundtrack in just two days. Swift also is now the highest paid woman in music on Forbes magazine's annual list. Beyonce and Rihanna ranked second and third. Well, a mom from Kansas captured this super sweet, heartwarming moment on her son's first day of school. The little boy saw his autistic classmate crying in a corner and made sure he was okay. They walked into school together and then he took his hand and they made new friends. Now, everybody on Facebook is loving this post, especially the mom of this little boy who said in a comment, I worry every day that he's going to get bullied for being different and just your son absolutely warmed my heart. So what a sweet moment and a new set of pair for friendship for the new school year. Very sweet to see. And so speaking of Taylor Swift at the VMAs, she also won the Video of the Year Award for You Need to Calm Down. Twitter had a field day with this one when cameras caught John Travolta handing the award to Taylor's drag queen double who appears as her impersonation in her music video as you can see there. She looks exactly, exactly like Taylor Swift but she looks pretty dang close to that hair and this comes after um, John Travolta's past mess up at the VMAs or um, when he called it, <laughs> there's, there's a gif saying where, where do we find Taylor <laughs> Swift? when he messed up um, Adina Menzel's name. So she, he made someone else read the card, so he didn't mess up. <laughs> but well, then handed the trophy. Uh, Adele Dazim. Yeah, Adele yes. Dazim. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I, I will say, in his defense, I can't imagine John Travolta being a huge Taylor Swift <laughs> fan. So he probably sees someone with blonde hair and is just like, yep, that must be you. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. You know, I mean, I would, Likely, I would assume I would know the difference, but I can't, you right. know, I'm not going to be too critical of John Travolta for that. Well, the, <laughs> well, the drag queen professionally performs as Taylor Swift. Right, exactly. So her whole job is to make sure she looks exactly like Taylor Swift, and she does a good job at that. And um, they posted a video on Twitter afterwards, and Taylor Swift is just so excited about this, especially about you need to calm down. is mm -hmm. all about equal rights and um, the opportunity to love who you love. So it's a, it's a good message for speech 
her accepted speech was good. Yeah. And that queen was also in the video that won. So it yes. was exactly. fitting yes. that she was on stage to uh -huh. accept the award Yeah, as no, well. it was very the good. And yeah, that was. speech was really nice. Um, and they, yeah, I mean, I think it, they won for like uh, best cause, like for a music video mm -hmm. where there was some sort of purpose behind the video. A video um, of the year award. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they, there was another one that they won with it. Oh, but um, cool. it, I mean, good for them. And I mean, hey, John Travolta. <laughs> I, I can't say I'm super surprised. He's like the Steve Harvey. I was just going to say, it's just like Steve Harvey. People can forgive him, right? Oh, oh yeah. they'll get over it. Yeah. I think that's kind of why they put him in those roles, because they're like, let's see what John Travolta does this time. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. All right, it is 542 now. Well, speaking of Taylor Swift, she got political and also the most overplayed song of the year, but she took home some other major awards. Everything else you missed during the VMAs is coming up in the next three minutes. Yeah, so that's sad. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you might have seen posts on social media calling the Amazon rainforest the lungs of the earth. Coming up at six, our Verify team looks into the science behind these claims. And don't forget to vote in our live poll this morning. Head to the Crime 2 app, scroll down, and click the Vote Now tab. And tell us if you think school resource officers should be armed. We're checking in with those results in the next 10 minutes. We'll be right back.